Hey man, it's the ISO guy Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Listen up, I'm be giving you the best jump shots for every build, every height, every play style, every archetype in NBA 2K25. I'm be giving you the best tips, and you're gonna be able to shoot 65% from three like me. Now, just two quick tips before we get into everything. Do not play online if you don't get your hot spots and your lethals, and don't play online if you don't do your Gatorade drills. They increase your shooting dramatically. They make it much easier to shoot. It's the most important video you're going to watch. If you know how to shoot, you're better, you're better than 80% of the community. This is every year. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you want tips like this to become a god. I'm gonna be showing you modded controller data. So firstly, this jump shot right here, KPJ, I'm pretty sure you unlock it at starter three. This is for the little guards out there. They saying this jump shot is better than every jump shot in the game. They saying it's better than the Patty Mills, okay? Now here's the other jump shot. I say have it on release. A lot of people saying it's too fast. This is what I did to Patty last year and I, I was green as crazy. But this is a starter three animation, okay? These two jump shots for y'all little guards, they probably gonna help y'all out, man. This is probably the best big man jump shot, man. As you can see, 610 plus, all you need is an 82, okay? I only recommend push and release for your Q. The other ones, they're unnatural. If someone's using them, they're probably cheating, okay? There's a lot of weird animations and hitches and latency, so release gives you the most time to really see what's going on. You get a lot of load ups and all this and that, but yeah, it's a great jump shot for a uh, 610 plus build. Now, here's another jump shot for little builds, right? They saying this this like, hella fast. It's Curry right here. Rock the Curry, pretty easy to time and all that. And look, this jump shot right here, people are saying this is like the best uh six it or six five plus jump shot, man. So I mean, y'all could test it out. I don't really like it too much, man. I I, I prefer the Culver over this. I'm gonna show y'all that version soon. But yeah, you could try this out. You know, it's a nice base. Um, it's kind of, you know, the Culver is a baby team map. There's another alternate reality of it, okay? Here's another great jump shot for if you're a big and you got some low rating, guys. Do not make any jump shots that are low rating this, okay? Just don't do it, bro. This is a new world, new era. Don't do it. Especially if you play with randoms, guys. You should never be making it. You gotta evolve. Unless you know how to cheese and score in the paint every time, do not make no inside. Though. I don't care. Here's another jump shot for big, 6'10 plus. Last year, I didn't like it, but this year, it seems it seems pretty decent man now this is the most meta jump shot for little builds um it's it's pretty good it's a nice jumper man they saying you know this is the most meta one so you little guard try this out man you know i got i got a tick down you know to make it easier to hit here's another great jump shot for uh six five plus you know test it out man here's another great jump shot all you need is an 84 my boy scotty pippen it could be the one now here's that jump shot that th this is the baby t mac or no poor man's t mac that you know that that's a better one. but yeah if you're struggling to shoot and you're six five through six ten bro just recommend this jump shot to everybody bro it will change your life bro Trust it changed a lot of people's life last year i was trying to put everybody on because a lot of people they messed up their builds because we didn't know about t mac in the start so you know th this is the jump shot bro that really saved a lot of people from builds not being useless spot ups big iso builds rock the cover man now here's the baby t mac for little guards test it out i mostly be using this okay Here's another alternate reality of the AI, okay? Now look, now we got that Kyrie Irving. This is probably like the easiest to time little builds, maybe somewhat between AI and uh, Irving. It's easier to hit than Cam. Cam's a little bit more glitchy, but if you want a reliable jump shot and you're struggling, try this Kyrie out. You a little build, man. Now before we get into the rest of the tips, 2K Tuts did a test with a modded controller, right? He tested out low risk, normal risk, high risk. So as you can see, high risk with, you know, between these, get, you're hitting at a higher percent, right? 80, 56 this you're not gonna hit as high but it's almost there right and then low risk it's a little lower than this one right then when you get to here right low risk you know it's eh. and it's like eh. but then look you're hitting at a higher clip than the high risk and like the bottom tier you really can't time your shot look you can but look for the high risk you really missing it right so look Here's what I recommend. Uh, of course, I'd say high risk. If you're decent at the game, and you can really time your stuff and all that. But if you're pretty horrible and you're more averages, you can try out the normal, man. And you could be Gucci. But if you, you know, you somewhat with it, I would say go high risk, bro. But um, if you're like lagging, you're some foreigner, 
and you got horrible internet, you can't get a LAN cable, you're always spiking, put on low risk, man. I mean, they letting it come on in the game. You could shoot 50%, you time it perfect, and then it's like way bigger. He did a chart basically showing like the green window. So like, you know, your range is like this, but it's like random when you gonna make it, you know? And you know, green is like you supposed to make it most of the time, but yeah. So 2K Tuts did another video, you know? 2K should actually be showing y'all this, and he shows you the damn release points in this hole. You know, this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying. This is when you should be releasing it from set point. And this is when you should be releasing it from push. And then release is right here. I prefer release. Now look, 2K Lab put out a video, you know, with a modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting. And you can see rhythm shooting is way better. I mean, if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then, do it. You have way less room for error, a, you know, bigger green window. And yeah, even with the normal, you can mistime it and make it sometimes. So it's kind of crazy. Now, even in my other videos, I've been telling y'all about set shot specialists, right? 2K Lab did a video, right? Basically, make sure you get this at least gold in some way either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point and you will be able to shoot much easier you should only have it with these you're some type of god right and you're really trying to tap into something else but if you know there's a lot of lag latency you want to deal with less of that you got to be gold plus okay he's saying this is the benefit you're gonna see if you invest more into it and all this and that this is the badge y'all need it's not just spot ups um, any shot that's not fading, it pops up. Okay, you stop and shoot. Here's the limitless range. Y'all wanna invest in it, but uh, you should be playing on a monitor, okay? I know it sounds dumb, but there's a lot of old heads in this world. Y'all gotta share this video. You need to be playing on a monitor with all games. There's a delay. You're playing on some big 60 inch. There's a delay. It might look better or whatever, but it's a bigger delay. You need to be playing on a monitor like the BenQ, ASIC, what a ASIC, whatever it's called, okay? You need to be playing on a monitor. I think I switched in like 2K18 or something. You know, I was still a god at shooting back then, but I don't know, but y'all are even more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro, it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your router that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're gonna get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 for some you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays. It's just like when you play in the rec versus the park, they're two different lag delays, latencies and lag spikes. When you do it with, you're adding a different factor. So when your controller starts to die, you plug it in, you're gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss. But trigger effect, this is very important. Please guys, please send this video to your friends. When I play with randoms, especially the old heads, dog, that you hear it, you hear it, bro. That's all you hear in their controller. <laughs> Bro, you can't play like that. It's disrupting you, okay? This is okay, but the, the trigger effect is in. <laughs> Bro, you gotta, you know, you got something tripping in your hand, bro. How can you play? You know, just when dribble, it's gonna, it's gonna intimidate you. You're gonna mess up your shots. It's turn it off, guys, okay? Now look, your shot timing profile, put it here, okay? Either here or here. You can start off here. This description, it says similar to previous 2Ks, but according to 2K, uh, 2K Lab chart, that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2Ks or I don't, I don't know. Look, bro, 2K makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent. I know it costs VC, but if you want to shoot as good as you can, you got to buy the, uh, the shooting boost, bro. That That's just how it is. And it got to do with your Gatorade. So make sure you're doing your Gatorade drills and all that, man. And I think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year but gotta have jump shot boost and some form of gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around you shoot the ball hey you don't need all of them but you need some of them especially if you're a guard they make you pay to play 
to uh, be consistent in the game. If you can manage without it, rock with it, but that's just how it be. Now, secondly, before you play online, hey, okay, this is very important. You want to get your hot spots. I'm pretty sure before you even go get your lethal zones, I'm gonna show y'all where that is and everything. Get your hot spots first. Someone clarify down below, but get your red spots first and then go do your lethals. Because last year they had it to where, say you went in there and you didn't even have a hot spot and you did your lethals, it wouldn't go to purple. So, and you get to get three purples for three weeks, I believe. So unless someone says something down below, make sure you get your hot spots red before you go get your lethals. Don't play online unless you get your hot zones, guys. Listen, don't play online unless you get your hot zones. You will miss, it, it don't even matter if you have your bad. You need your hot zones, okay? Every 2K. It's so important. Tell your friends, people don't know this. On all your builds, you need your hot zones, okay? You need your hot zones. Now, it could, you could get them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm gonna show you all these cords. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're gonna wanna go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where are that? Where are that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or the Temple. It's right here, okay? Or you could do the My Career lowest difficulty. Y'all let me know which is easiest so far. Look, right here. Got the board these people this is where you're gonna do it at man and a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge too you need to get this up art of shooting gym this is where you're gonna want to go to get your purples get your reds first get your red hot zones first you're gonna go in here it looked clean it looked clean i don't know if it's just because it's new or what it looked clean to me feel me you know you know what we don't we don't look kind of clean but make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Because y'all know if you mess up, you can close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let, let, let me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course, you want to have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now, look. Some people in previous 2Ks, you know, y'all know having all this stuff on and off. Look, you could take off a lot of stuff. The green release animations, you could take it all off. If, you know, some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player, you know, so you could take off a lot of these things. No ball trail. A lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail. So, you know, you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback. Some people have it off. I always keep it on, but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better. So if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy, and, you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen. Yeah, uh, a triple hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.